BBC. John Philip, and how do you feel about the result of what you're hearing? Well, what I'm hearing is obviously very positive. It's, um, I think it continues on from the message that we've been given for the last six weeks in North Belfast. It's, it's been really well received. I've said to any journalist really who's been talking to me over the past number of weeks that there hasn't been a day where the message that we've been given has been received so well by everybody and certainly been received so well by those who have stretched themselves to vote today and I'm, and I'm very grateful for that. I think that um, obviously we're, we're, we're waiting on the official result but as I say it has been a, an exceptionally positive six weeks I think. It's a truly historic night here tonight where John Finucane has been elected as the new MP for North Belfast. We are so delighted to see John elected because he has fought such a positive campaign. John can be an MP for everybody in North Belfast. He gave that pledge to the electorate. He will deliver on that pledge. I think it's been a very interesting night in terms of the election results. More still to come in. But clearly the people here have once again said they do not want Brexit, that they do not want the DUP. So tonight here we've had John Finucane elected, Paul Maskey elected and Chris Hazard elected. Three out of three in bad. It's clear if you look at the majority that the Tories have in Britain, our voices will need to be heard. Our forces will be heard. They will not only be heard in London, they will be heard in Dublin, they will be heard in Europe and they will also be heard in America. That's what Sinn Féin does. We are very, very much to the fore with regards to bringing the cause of Ireland to the world. We have done that for the last number of years and we will do that and we have the mandate to do that for the next number of years ahead. So again, I want to thank the electorate of West Belfast for putting their faith and confidence in me once again and I will not let them down. Well, a great night here tonight in the Titanic Centre in Belfast. It's a real privilege and an honour to be elected again uh, twice in, in two years now. We didn't think we'd be here, but snap election it is. Sinn Féin have out and done the job in South Down. It's great to be here as well with John Finnegan uh, and to see the party capture that seat for the first time. A truly historic night. Again, our politics has resonated across the board and the people here of Ireland have reinforced the point. There's no mandate for Brexit in Ireland. Uh, and again, this is now we're going forward, having to engage the European Union and the Irish government to stand up for our rights now as we go forward. I'm, I, I suppose it maybe still hasn't sunk in yet, but I'm incredibly proud and humbled to have been elected as the MP for North Belfast. As, as everybody knows, I'm from North Belfast. I'm very proud to be from North Belfast and to have that trust placed in me by the constituency, by the electorate, by everybody who came out to vote for me today is, is an incredibly proud moment and one that I, I maybe can't put into words fully. I think it's reflective of the campaign uh, that we had. It was, for me, a very successful campaign, a very positive campaign. It reached out to those who value their European identity, who value that Remain voice that they voted for in 2016. And again, in 2019, I think that voice has been amplified uh, to such a, such a significant degree. I think this is an overwhelming result. It's something that, that I think will certainly reverberate right across Ireland and right across Europe and indeed America as well. And you can see that from the reaction tonight. I'm going to represent those who voted for me and those who didn't. I think that North Belfast is a constituency that needs strong leadership and needs strong representation. And I look forward to doing that for the years to come. So the politics of this campaign was all about the future, was all about positivity. It's about reasserting again that the North hasn't consented to Brexit and the chaos that it'll bring. But it's also about laying more building blocks uh, for the new Ireland that we, that we are working uh, to build together. I, I want to thank all of our candidates and our activists and of course to every single person who came out and voted for us. Uh, we will use this mandate wisely uh, and to bring progress uh, and change all across society. So I'm, I'm sure um, Paul and Chris won't mind me making a particular mention of John Finucan, uh, our newest uh, MP. It's a phenomenal victory, uh, just an, an incredible victory for John, for Belfast, Sinn Féin, for activists in North Belfast, but for all of us right across the island, I suppose, if there was one contest that people were watching, it was, uh, it was North Belfast. Uh, and it's been a great night, Ed, so thank you everybody. Onwards and upwards, we've work to do.